There are three words that I find show a serious gap in adult education and understanding that are currently hot topic words and are being used on social media, news media, and in government and making of policies and so forth. Those three words are grooming, abuse, and pedos. These three words are very serious and have very specific definitions and situations in which they should be used. And currently, they are just being thrown out there against really groups that the users don't agree with or don't like or are uncomfortable with. These words are frequently being used against LGBT people, teachers, and healthcare professionals. And they're being used regardless of the actual definitions of those words and against people who it's actually not applicable towards. And why is this dangerous against community psychology? Well, if you are using these words in ways that they are not intended to be used, you delegitimize and water down the very serious nature of these words and the situations they should be used in, particularly when they are being used to describe trespasses against children that are very serious in nature and have lasting and lifelong impacts. The reason these words are used is to elicit an emotional reaction, and that emotional reaction is used to bypass intellectual thinking and research and everything that would cause a person to look into a situation and actually analyze the facts and then make decisions based on those facts. And we can see how this is dangerous in the way that government has reacted and in the way that the public has reacted or select groups of the public have reacted against other groups who are already marginalized or are just different than the larger normalized groups. So I would encourage you or have you encourage other people to look into the actual definitions of those words and then also encourage you to look at the situations in which they're being used and analyze how using that word by definition is justified in the situation that those words are being used or against whom it is being used. And I believe that as we do this, we can restore the true seriousness of those words and situations in which they should be applied and protect people that they are being used against when they should not be used against those people.